Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Spike Reviews. Today I'm gonna bring you the fanciest Kit Kats I've ever seen. Here you are. Look at that presentation. It's one of the nicest wrapped Kit Kats I've ever encountered. Of course, they're coming straight from Japan, so the presentation's always super nice. Uh, so these are gonna be Hokkaido, Atsuki, and Strawberry flavor. Atsuki is pretty much sweet red beans, which are commonly found in Asian desserts, primarily Japanese desserts. So I'm excited because I'm a big fan of sweet red beans. A lot of people are not. Like sweet beans kind of throws the Western world for a loop, but very popular in Asian dishes, just like I stated. Now it says that there are 10 mini Kit Kats in this box. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, take a Kit Kat break as stated on the box. And let's dig into these. Mm. Now I'm really excited and I've been finding a whole ton more of really weird Kit Kat flavors at my local Japanese market. So stay tuned for those. And here it is. Even the presentation and the wrapper, really nice. Look at that. Very fancy. The, probably the fanciest Kit Kats I've ever encountered. But looks will only take you so far, so they have to taste good too. So it's only one way to find out. And I'm gonna do what I always do in every single Kit Kat review, and it triggers everyone. So here's the Kit Kat. It's a little melted, just a little bit. It's two little mini Kit Kats. All right, taste test. Cheers. What a monster. He didn't even break them apart, just bit both of them. I get that comment every single time. Mm. Okay, so. <clears throat> Very tasty, white chocolate base, but I will say the strawberry flavor overpowers the Atsuki flavor by like 99%. I will even go as far as to say that I don't taste almost any of that sweet red bean flavor that I would get from like say uh, Taiyaki's. I just, I'm just not getting it. But <clears throat> nonetheless, it's very delicious. The presentation, packaging, A1, stellar packaging, I love it. Uh, but one of the flavors it promises just doesn't come through. So I can't give it like an outstanding score, even though I really want to just because of the nice packaging and the overall taste of it, it's really good. But it just doesn't deliver on one of the promises. Um, but I'm not gonna knock it too much just because it looks so nice. So I'm gonna have to give these Hokkaido, Asuki, and strawberry flavored Kit Kats a eight out of 10. They would easily get a nine out of 10 had the other flavor come through. Not a perfect 10 out of 10 because they are very sweet and I can only see myself eating just that one package the entire day. It would be something that I would eat sparingly. So I can't give it a perfect 10 out of 10, but for the Hokkaido Prefecture Kit Kats, gonna have to get an 8 out of 10. All right guys, that's it for this episode of Spike Reviews. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. Be kind to each other, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.